everybody, it's me Charlotte. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day so far today because today we are going to learn how to do the provisional cast on in the round for the CC hat or the copycat hat. It's pretty popular right now. So I thought I would just go ahead and show you guys how I do the provisional cast on and how to go ahead and fold it up so you're able to knit it along the edge. This is what the inside of the hat looks like once it's all done. But it's not very difficult, guys. It may sound difficult, but there's a lot of tips and tricks. I'm going to show you guys how to keep track of where you are and, you know, how to unzip the chain as you're knitting along. And it's really, it's not going to be that difficult. We're going to take our time. We're going to go slow. And I'm going to try my best to make sure that everyone understands what it is I'm doing and talking about. Um, before we get into today's video, though, real quick, I want to say thank you for everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so now. And don't forget to click that little bell icon when you do. That way you'll be notified when I upload. And I have some links in the description below if you want to follow me on Facebook or join my private Facebook group. Alright, with that being said, let's get into today's video. This is, like I said, the copycat hat, and we're going to be doing the provisional cast on in the round. And I'm going to show you some little tips and tricks so it's easier for you. This one here is what I made. This is not the twisted rib. This is just the one by one ribbing. You can do it any way you want. It all gets started the exact same. Now, to get started, you're going to need a crochet hook. Ooh, focus. Okay, sorry. You're going to need a crochet hook and to your yarn. You're going to need the color that you want your hat to be. In this case, I'll say my hat's going to be white and my provisional cast on is going to be green. You just want two contrasting colors so you really can see where to pick up those stitches. Um, so I'm going to make my crochet chain with the green yarn. So. The pattern that I followed, I will put a link in the description below, it calls for 86 stitches. So to cast on 86 provisional stitches or however it's worded, it wants you to cast on 86. So for your crochet chain, you want to make a chain that's a little longer than 86 stitches. That way you're not really fumbling along with the edges of the chain. So I would probably cast on like 96. I would do 10 extra. Or I would make my crochet chain 96, just so I have a few extra to work with. Crochet chain, if you've never made one, I will bring you in so you can see exactly what I'm doing. All I did was I started with a slip knot. You're going to put your hook right there inside that slip knot. And to make a crochet chain, if you don't know how, put your hook inside that slip knot, grab some working yarn, pull it through. That's one. Grab some working yarn, pull it through. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you want to do this all the way until you get to 96 if you're following the same pattern. If your pattern calls for a different amount to cast on, just make sure that you make your chain at least 10 10 longer, 10 stitches longer than what your pattern calls for. Just so you have some room to work with and you're not working along the edges of the chain. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to finish up my chain and then I'll be back to show you what we do next. Alright, we're back. I have just finished chaining 96 here with my crochet hook and now it's time to cut our yarn and start picking up stitches along our chain. And I'm going to bring it in close to show you exactly how I do that. And I'm also going to show you what end to start at and why we start at that end. All right, so I'm going to cut my yarn here. I'm just going to go ahead and pull this last one through just to tie it off. Now, this is where we ended our chain. We just finished our chain. This was the end of our chain. This is where our slip knot is. We do not want to begin picking up stitches when we go to fold the brim on this side or our chain will not unzip like the pattern says it will. You want to make sure that your first stitch that you pick up when you fold the brim is along this side. So what that means is you want to start 
doing your provisional cast on on this end, the end that we cut, so we can start picking up our stitches. I hope that makes sense and it's not too confusing. So this was the side that was connected to our yarn ball. This over here was where we made our slip knot and started our chain. You want to start picking up stitches where we stopped chaining. I hope I made that clear enough. All right, to pick up stitches, this is what you're going to do. I'm going to bring you in close so you can really see what we're doing and what I'm talking about here. Make sure that it focuses. Okay, now this is our chain. This side was connected to our yarn ball. We cut it. That's the side we want to start picking up stitches on. Now, if I turn my chain over, you can see that it's like a braid. It's like a crochet chain. It's a braid. On the other side, you have these little humps. See if I can bring you in a little closer so you can see the little humps. See, these? this is the chain part, the chain side. Behind it are these little bumps and humps. Hope you can see that. That's where we want to pick up stitches. So that means we're going to put our needle through those little bumps, grab some of our working yarn that we want our hat to be, and bring it through. And we're going to do that all the way down the chain until we get 86 or whatever your pattern calls for. So, in the beginning I told you that I had chained an extra 10 stitches. That gives me some wiggle room so I'm not starting right here along the edge because that could be a nightmare. So we're just going to start like, I don't know, we have 10 extra stitches to work with. We could do start on the fourth chain and then end whenever we need to. And we'll end short as well. So I'm going to take the color of yarn that I want my hat to be. In this case it's white. It's just a contrast to the green. I'm going to take my circular needles. Let me show you. My circular needles. Now this is 16 inch circulars. You can do it on magic loop if you want. Um, however you prefer to make your hats. I prefer circulars. Um, the cord itself is 8 inches. Each needle is 4 inches. So I have 8 inches. 4 and 4 is 8, so I have 16 inch circular here. That's how that works. And what I'm going to do, bring you back in close. Provisional cast ons can be intimidating for some, and I don't want it to be. So I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing here. See my little humps? I have a hump here, a hump here, and a hump here. I'm going to go ahead and insert my needle through this fourth hump. Just like so. I'm going to take some of my working yarn, the color that I want my hat to be, and I'm going to leave a generous tail, maybe six to eight inches of a tail. You guys are kind of in close, so I want you to see. A generous tail. I'm going to fold it. That's all I'm doing is folding it. I'm going to put it over my needle, like so. And then all you want to do, the first one is always, you know, a little finicky, and that's okay. You want to take and pull it through that hump, just like that. Just like kind of when you change colors. And that's our first one. And then you want to go to this second hump, insert your needle, wrap your working yarn around it, and pull it through that hump. That's two. Again, insert through that third hump, the next hump, wrap your working yarn, and pull it through. Again, the next hump, wrap your working yarn, and pull it through. Just like that. And you want to do that all the way down. Now this first one is going to be loose. It's just like when you change color. The first one's going to be loose. It'll tighten up once we go and start knitting around the round. Again though, real quick, we find our next hump, put our needle through that next hump, Pull it through. Oops. And sometimes you miss. That's okay. Alright. And you just want to keep doing that all the way down until you have your 86 or however many stitches your pattern tells you to cast on. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish up here and cast on my 86 and then I will meet you when I'm all done picking up these stitches and then I'll show you how to actually get started and a neat little trick that shows you exactly where you're going to start picking up those provisional cast-ons to actually start joining your brim with the main body of the hat. So hold tight, I'll be right back. Alright, 
I'm finally finished. I couldn't cast on the whole 86 because my needles are a lot bigger than what the pattern calls for, so 86 stitches is having a hard time fitting on my needles here. But I did want to show you, this is where I stopped and left off. I still have my working yarn here. I still have quite a few chain left, and that's okay. But I want to show you how to now set up so you're working on the right side and everything's going to work out great. Um, again, remember, this is the side that we started picking up stitches. This is also the side of our provisional cast on that was connected to the ball. That's very important because your first stitch you want to be on this side of your crochet chain so it unzips easily. This side of the crochet chain will not unzip. The side that you made your slip knot and began chaining, this side will not zip. It's like knotted. This side will unravel and unzip. So, what you want to do now is we have our working yarn right here. We want to make sure that we set up our needles properly. So, what you want to do is you want to bring, you want to swing it around so now that your working yarn is onto your right side. You want to straighten up your provisional cast on. I like to make sure that it's all in the middle. So when I bring it, wrap it around like this, see how my chains are all in the middle. That's how you know it's not going to be twisted. You just want to make sure you take your time through this part and everything else will be so easy. Um, it's just important to get the setup correct so you're not working on a twisted hat. Um, no one wants that. It's devastating when you get a few rounds in and you realize, oh wow, my hat is twisted. Not what I wanted. So take your time with this part. Make sure it's all set up properly. And you have, like I said, your working yarn is coming off from the right side. This is kind of in the way because it's a little longer than it should be because I didn't have enough room for all my stitches. But you see how provisional cast on is all on the inside of the circle. That's how I like to do it. That's how I ensure that I'm not twisted any stitches or twisting my hat, I should say. Then you want to go ahead and you want to grab a stitch marker before you even begin and you want to pop it on your right needle. I have my working yarn here and my first stitch is going to be right there. It's going to be that loose stitch that we started with. We've all been there. We've all knit a few loose stitches before when we change color. It's nothing different. We'll just tighten it up and as we go along it'll be fine. Okay, so for our first stitch, the pattern that I followed it said to do a one by one ribbing, normal one by one ribbing. So that's the first row and then it goes into the twisted ribbing. So what we're going to do is our first stitch, we're just going to go ahead and knit it. We're going to make sure that our provisional cast on, in my case my green yarn, is all nice and straight. Again, I cannot stress that enough guys. Take your time with this part just to make sure you don't twist anything and you're going to go ahead and make your first stitch. It's going to be loose. Do you see how loose that looks? That's okay. Just go ahead and give it a little pull. We're going to tighten it up. That was a knit. Now we're going to do a purl. And you do it like you would do one by one ribbing. <coughs> Excuse me. And you just keep doing the knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. Going around. And the first, if you've never worked with circular needles, the first row is tight, it's finicky, it's a pain. Just take your time. See how I'm stopping to make sure that my stitches, my chain is not twisted. That's all you have to do. It's only one round or so and you'll be so happy that you took your time through this process because it makes it so much easier. Okay, I'm going to go in with a purl. And another thing I wanted to say was when you do make your crochet chain, try to make use a yarn that doesn't split, um, that doesn't tend to split because that will make your life easier too when it comes to unzipping and connecting your hat with the, or the brim with the body of the hat. Just make sure that you choose a yarn that doesn't split to make your crochet chain. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do a few rounds of just regular one by one ribbing and then I'm going to show you how to pick up your stitches 
and connect it or knit it along with the body of the hat. So, oh, and before we even get started, there's one more thing I wanted to show you guys. I'm not taking a break just yet. When you flip over right here, your first, let me zoom you in, that would be easier. Okay, right here next to our stitch marker is our first chain. You want to pick up, if you count them, you can count them. Like there's one here, one here, and go this way. It's a little easier to see. You want to go underneath that green here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you want to count your stitches. I'll explain to you what I'm doing here in a second. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so you always want to map out when you first get started. I've only this is the first few that I've knit and purled along my first round in the round. Um, and I want to map out my very first stitch that I'm actually going to pick up when I connect to the body of the hat. I hope that makes sense. But you want to take your time in this too, and you want to make sure that you find that first stitch right away. You want to count how many stitches you've already done. In my case, I've done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm 11 stitches in my first round. I want to go down here, and I want to see where I'm at here. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. But I don't want to count that one right there. It looks like a knot. I want to do this one. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this one right here would be 11. So what I'm going to do is, just so I know exactly where I'm at, I'm going to take a piece of yarn, my contrasting color yarn, Okay, so I want to go ahead and pick up my first stitch, or find my first stitch that I'm going to actually connect to the body of my hat. And right here, I think this is going to be it. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that one there will make 11. So what I want to do is I want to take my crochet hook. You can probably get a smaller crochet hook, or you could probably even get like a darning needle. All you want to do is try to grab your white yarn or the color of the hat yarn like your first stitch. And all you want to do is pull that marker through. So now you have kind of like a green marker there. And you're going to know that that is going to be the first stitch you pick up, wherever this marker is. That's where you're going to start picking up to attach to the body of your hat. We'll get back into it. Um, I'll show you what I mean when I finish going around here. Go ahead and continue doing your one by one ribbing, or I'm going to go ahead and continue doing my one by one ribbing, and then I will catch you up. I will come back when I'm all done, and I will show you how to start connecting to the body of the hat. So, give me a few minutes. I'll be back in a sec. All right, I'm just about to finish up with my first round, and I wanted to show you guys exactly what's going on here. Like I said, it's a loose stitch you're going to feel like you're going to have a huge jog. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you exactly what I'm doing here as I join, as I complete my first round. So I'm almost to my stitch marker. I'm going to show you what to do. Oops, I slipped that stitch. I need to purl that stitch. <clears throat> okay. So we're getting to the end here. All right. Now, because I didn't cast on the correct amount of stitches, I ended with a knit stitch. So it's going to be a little different because I'm going to start with a knit stitch as well. So anyways, what I was trying to get to is if you pull your yarn tight, pull your tail tight, the one your first stitch tight, you're going to slip your marker and then you're going to go back in. And when you go back in, you want to make sure that everything is pulled tight when you go to do the first stitch of your second round. Just make sure everything is pulled tight. Make sure that your cast on edge or your provisional cast on your crochet chain is still lining up so you're not twisted. 
And another thing you can do is it can hang down low. Like, so if I'm holding it like this, it can hang down. So, first stitch of the second round, you just want to make sure that everything is pulled tight. And you just want to keep working your one by one ribbing. And if it looks like you have a jog or you're going to have like a big wide gap, just keep working a few rounds. It usually tends to correct itself. So that's just what I wanted to show you. I was just completing the first round and I wanted to show you how to slip the marker and how to just, you know, make sure that everything is nice and tight. All right. I will be back to show you how we join the brim to the body of the hat. Just a few. Okay, so I went ahead and I did a few rows of one by one ribbing here, and now I'm going to show you, I didn't do the full three inches, which the pattern calls for, um, so when you fold it up, you have at least a one and a half inch brim, but I did do a, I don't know, maybe an inch or so, um, inch and a half of brim here that we're going to fold up and make a very teeny tiny brim, but I'm going to show you how we go ahead about connecting the brim to the body of the hat and how to unzip the provisional cast on. So I'm going to bring you in close so you can see exactly what we're doing here. I just went ahead and finished my row. Here's my stitch marker I slipped on. Um, and what you want to do is, on the bottom, I know this looks like a big mess, but I promise it all cleans up nice. Um, remember that little stitch, that little piece of scrap yarn I made you put in that first stitch? This is what you're going to do. You're going to take your left needle and you're going to actually pull up on that stitch and you're going to take your left needle and you're going to put it right in there. Just like that. And now you can pull it off. Okay. Now you want to take and knit those two together. Just like that. Now again, you want to find your second your second white piece of yarn here, it's right here, you can kind of see there, here's one, here's one, here's one, and here's one. So here's one right here. You want to pick up that yarn and you got to be a little careful that you don't grab the green and then you go ahead and you knit it together. Now when it comes to unzipping the provisional cast on, I like to do a few, like I just did two, I'm going to do one more. Right here, I'm going to pick up my next stitch, and you can see this one right here. We're going to go ahead and pick it up. And it's a lot easier when your brim is longer. It's kind of difficult for me right now because my brim is so teeny tiny. But once you get a nice long brim, it folds up nice and it's easier to work with. Okay, I've done three. And now I'm going to go ahead, and this is the part. Here's our provisional cast on. This was our first stitch where we started. <clears throat> This is the end, this is the long one, this is where we started our chain, this is the side where the ball of yarn was connected. You All you want to do is you want to go ahead and undo that knot, like so. Just pull that through. And then you can unzip. See how it unzips? Okay, you only want to unzip a few, and then you want to go ahead and go into your, pick up your next stitch, which is right here, with your left needle, pick up your working yarn, pick up that next stitch, and go ahead and knit it together. I like to knit a few before I start unzipping, that way it just makes sure that I don't unzip one too many. And you just keep doing that. You go along, you pick up the next stitch right here, and then knit it along with the stitch on your needle. Pick up the next one. The secret to, or the trick to being able to unzip that provisional cast on is just to make sure that you start, you know, picking up your stitches or casting on your stitches at the right end. Again, here's the green yarn. I'm just going to pull. You don't want to pull too many, so I pulled a few. I'm going to pick up my next white stitch here. 
I promise, if my brim was longer, these would be easier to pick up. You guys are not going to have a problem picking up these stitches. It's really, it's still not even that bad. And then you go ahead and you just knit it along. Pick up your next one here. Again, pick up your next one. You know, do a few, and then take your green yarn here and just pull. You see how it, oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Pull along. Let me widen out. We'll do a few more. Our next stitch is right here. We're going to go ahead and pick it up. Knit it together. Again, our next stitch is right there. We're going to go ahead, pick it up. Knit it together. Again, our next stitch is right there. Pick it up. Knit it together. And then we're going to take our green strand right here. It's still over at the beginning. And we're going to pull. And see how it just kind of unzips? Don't want to unzip too many. Again, here's our next stitch right here. Pick it up. Knit it together. I'm going to do one up close because I don't know if my camera, I wasn't paying attention and I don't know if my camera saw or picked up what I was doing. So we're going to come in close. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing. Flipping it over. My next stitch is right there. All I'm going to do is take my left needle and pick up that left stitch like so. And I'm going to come in and knit those two together. Again, flip it over. Right there is my next stitch. Take my left needle. And like I said, this will be easier when your brim is your, you know, your brim is longer. It'll fold up nicer and you'll have more, more room. Go ahead and knit those two together. And then over here we have our green yarn. Here's our tail that we started unzipping. And if I pull that, you can see they start coming undone. And then I want to go ahead and take my next stitch right there. And you just want to do that all the way around until you have no more stitches to pick up. And you'll know when you have no more stitches to pick up. You can pull that green yarn all the way out. And right before you seal it up and start um, doing the body of your hat, you can actually tuck in the white tail and everything into this folded up brim. And that is how you do it, guys. That is all there is to it. I hope this video wasn't too confusing. Um, provisional cast on can be confusing to some people, but provisional cast on in the round can be even more confusing to some people. Um, but don't be intimidated by it. You're going to have to try it. I failed the first time I've ever done it. Um, the first time I did it, I failed. It was horrible. Um, practice practice, practice. That's all I can say. Um, don't get too defeated and don't give up. But that's how you do it. And you just take your green tail here that you've already pulled. You know, you do a few and then you just unzip. And then you just keep picking up stitches till you're all the way done, all the way around. And pick them all up. Stuff your white tail here, this white tail that we have when we started our cast on. Shove that in the fold, seal up your hat, pull out all your provisional cast on, and then just start knitting in the round and follow the pattern. Like I said, I will put the pattern that I did in the description below, but you will have this. And this is what the inside looks like. Let me bring you in close so you can see. When it's all done, that's what the inside will look like. And here's a little bonus tip. Um, the pom-pom here. Some people have a lot of questions on how to connect their pom-poms. Well, I'm going to show you how I connected mine, thanks to the help from a very nice lady. It was in one of the knitting groups on Facebook, but she said just to get a toggle, like so. I have my pom-pom here, so it's very easy to take out. You can wear it with a pom-pom, without a pom-pom. You can wash them. And all you want to do, if you want to attach, if you have one with an elastic band, pull it through the hole. I take a crochet hook, Put my crochet hook 
right through the center, like so. Grab that hook, bring it through. Ow, sometimes <laughs> it did come through. Bring it through, and then you just add your toggle. Now you can do that with um, just like if you make your own pom pom, you can do that with just the strands of yarn. Um, instead of cutting them, you don't tie them, you just put them through the hole and attach them with a toggle. Um, you can do that with just about any type of pom-pom, but that is how I do the provisional cast on for the CC copycat hat. And I hope you really liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. And if you'd like to follow me on Facebook or be a part of my Facebook group, those uh, links are in the description below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so now. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you're notified when I upload. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you all had a super wonderful, fabulous day and happy knitting. Bye!